So in our previous video, we ran into this problem here where we're trying to connect two doors and uh, we get to this point. It should be going up, but uh, instead it takes another step this way and then it kind of gets stuck. And so it just stops. So we're gonna fix that in this video, partially, a partial fix. So let's go down to our connect doors function right here. Um, we're going to add another position, call it previous. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, when we get to this point right here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go back to our previous Y position and our previous X position. So that will end up being right here. We're gonna go back to here, take a step back and just start again. Um, so we'll still have these two kind of random hallway pieces sitting there, but at least we'll get connected. So in order to do that, we need to save our previous, um, previous X and Y coordinates. So I'll start out by setting this equal to temp at the start. So it just starts being the same as temp. Um, we're going to get rid of this move print w statement and replace it with previous equals temp dot x. So we're just here. We're going to modify our temp coordinate, um, but we're just going to save what it was before it was modified. And so that will allow us to this should be previous.x. That will allow us to kind of take a step back. So same thing here. And then for these next two, we're saving our y. Let's copy and paste that, put that in there. Okay, so now this else statement here, this is where we kind of normally quit. But instead, what we're gonna do so we're going to put another if statement in here. We're going to say if count equals zero. Uh, so what's count? Basically, we only want to we only want to do this step back once. If we do it anymore, it just won't work. Um, yeah. So we need to make sure that we're only doing this step back once. We're going to declare an integer count equals zero. So now if count is equal to zero, that means we haven't taken any steps back yet. Then what we'll do is we're gonna set temp is equal to previous. Count goes up and then we're gonna continue. Else we quit. So if, if we've already taken one step back, we take no more. We just quit. And then this is where we're going to do our move print statement. So remember, when we take our step back, we won't be printing anything um, because we're we have this continue statement here. But for all other cases, we'll be uh, we'll, we'll just do our print temp dot y temp.x and our hallway. Now this should work, so let's give it a try. Recompile and run it. So this isn't one of those cases, but we'll see an interesting thing here. So everything's gonna act normally until we get here, and then we're just gonna add a random hallway there. So it doesn't really look that great, um, but in the case where where normally we wouldn't get a connected hallway, such as here. So here we go one step too far, but then we take a step back and it works perfect. So that's how we're gonna get around that particular issue. Um, 
let's just connect two more doors for fun. So let's connect this door here. So this is room at index one, door at index two, and we'll connect it to this one. So we'll start up here and connect down to here, which is room zero, door zero. Okay, so where do we call connect doors? Right here, copy and paste this. So we said this was first room, first door. This is our second room, fourth, third door, so door index two. Um, save that, see if it works. So first the first door will connect, and then the second door. Boom, and it works as expected. Again, we still get this kind of trailing hallway piece, but eh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Maybe if we get a finished game and we're kind of fine tuning things, and maybe that's something that we'll deal with, or you know, who knows, maybe we'll change the hallway algorithm. But for now, that's, uh, I mean, this will do the, do the job quite nicely. So in our next tutorial, we're gonna start cleaning this code up because it's, it's look at how, what are we at? Over 300 lines in one file. Uh, we're gonna clean that up in our next tutorial.